Today we're going to be tying a fly called the cocktail shrimp. Uh, it's a variation of a fly that was given to me on the North Fork of the Alice some years ago. Um, kind of made a few modifications to it as I tend to do. Uh, we've got a Daiichi 2571 size 2 in, in there. Could go all the way down to size 8 probably. Starting out with U140 in the fluorescent pink. I'm going to start the thread directly behind the eye. Make a nice base wrap all the way down. Advance that just a little bit past the barb down onto the bend. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some UV pink crystal flash. We're going to do the antenna out of this. Don't need a whole bunch, about four strands of that. I'll tie that in right there just past the barb. Extend that out probably a oh, good inch, inch and a half. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off a set of medium mono eyes. Got one cut off already. I'm just going to tie that in right on top of the antenna. So now we got the antenna and the eyes. Next thing I'm going to do is take off about a two inch long piece of sh uh, shrimp pink Swiss straw. Tie that in right there behind, behind the eyes. After that, we're going to take a piece of 030 lead uh, on this. And we're going to tie that in right there behind the eyes as well. Advance the thread back a little bit. We're going to make probably about a half dozen wraps of that lead. No, I don't see a big bead or a cone or anything on this. This is your obviously this is your weight. Is this going to fish uh, alone off an indicator? How are you going to run this? Th one? This is a, this is an indicator fly. Um, what was told to me originally, and I've kind of found that to be true myself, is that a lot of times when you're fishing a hatchery situation where you've got tons and tons of pressure, that having something different than like your standard corky looking uh, glow bug type of thing is going to be you know advantageous. So this guy. Uh, invented it uh, as kind of an answer to that. It's 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 a it's a dead drifted shrimp pattern. So if you talk to some of the gear guys, when things get tough, a lot of times they'll fish a shrimp pattern. So uh, and you know a lot of times nothing more than just a piece of cocktail shrimp on a, on a hook. So that's essentially what what we have going on here. Um, so I've got my shell back in place now. Um, I'm going to take a piece. So what I've done here is I've got a half inch pseudo hackle in shrimp pink. It comes in a wide band. I've cut the band in half, so I've got essentially a, a uh, hackle's worth of of uh, a, uh, a, a well, a hackle basically. Uh, but this is a synthetic material, so it's going to be really durable. Yeah, I think this stuff's way underrated. I mean, you can cut that half inch stuff to any length you want. You can you could tie any anything that anything that uses a hackle. You can use the pseudo hackle. Just haven't seen it widely used yet, but it's it's uh, incredibly durable. Like I was saying. Um, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to dub uh, a body of uh, shell pink ice dub. The other thing about that hackle is, you know, I mean, it's not a dry fly hackle per se. No, it's a wet. It's going to be a wet fly deal essentially. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the floatability is on it. I really haven't tried to hackle a dry fly, you know, per se, with it, but but. Uh... It's got excellent like iridescence when it's cut mm -hmm. like that, I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make about three or four wraps of the body with this shell pink dubbing. And I'm going to tie in a thread rib. Um, in this case, I'm just using kind of a light pink colored uh, 3 aught. You could use Kevlar, GSP, whatever you wanted to, uh, to help rib this, this in place. But notice how I've taken the thread and I've tied in that rib about even with the point of the hook. That way I can make kind of the carapace of the shrimp uh, stand out just a bit more. Pretty anatomical. Just make a nice dubbed even kind of cigar taper from a little bit bigger in the front to a little bit smaller in the back. Go. 
take the hackle, I'm going to wind it through the body. Tie that off at the eye. You can see it's got kind of a you know light little leggy segmentation in there. So I'll just kind of move that stuff down to the side. And then I'll, I'll kind of hold that in place uh, and you can tie it off in the front. Then I'll start that rib and get those legs out of the way a little bit. You can always go back through and, and pick some of the legs out that get trapped down by the thread as you're wrapping it back. And you could use a wire or something for that. Literally uh, any any rib, rib rib that you want. Tougher the better. So you know wire's good. Kevlar, GSP, whatever you want to do. The last thing we'll do, we'll second last thing, we'll cut the little tail there. Whip finish. Then I'll take the, the fly real quick and I've got a you know a bodkin or anything like that just to help pick out a few few more of those legs so that they're not all trapped underneath that ribbing. A little bit more life to the fly. There you have a completed cocktail shrimp, one of my favorites, hope it's one of yours too.